Hello friends. Bobby Rydell, Wild One singer, dead at 79. Bobby Rydell, 79, the singer who rose to fame as a South Philly teen idol with hits like Kissin' Time, Wild One, and Wildwood Days, and maintained a career in show business that lasted six decades, has died. Mr. Rydell's death was confirmed by his marketing and event coordinator, Maria Novi, who said he died Tuesday afternoon at Jefferson Abington Hospital. SHE said that Mr. Rydell's death was unexpected, though he had many health problems, dating to 2012, when he underwent a double transplant to replace a liver and a kidney. Philadelphia DJ Jerry Blavitt had booked Mr. Rydell to perform at the Kimmel Center in January, but the singer was unable to perform due to poor health. The cause of death was non-COVID-19 related pneumonia complications, according to Novi. Mr. Rydell's wife, Linda J. Hoffman, was by his side at the hospital, Blavitt said. Along with Frankie Avalon, Chubby Checker, and Fabian Forte, Mr. Rydell was one of four South Philly teen idols who found a national audience in the late 1950s and early 1960s through Dick Clark's Philadelphia-based television show, American Bandstand. Born Robert Ritterelli, he won a talent contest on Paul Whiteman's TV teen club show in 1950 and soon after changed his stage name to Rydell. Before he was out of his teens, he was an international star, touring Australia with the Everly Brothers in 1960 and becoming the youngest performer to ever headline the Copacabana in New York in 1961. His hits were many, starting when he signed with Philly's Cameo Records, which would later become Cameo Parkway, in 1959. His first was Kiss in Time, followed by We Got Love, his first million seller, and Little Bitty Girl, his second. In 1960, he hit it big with a cover version of Domenico Modugno's Voller and Wildwood Days, in 1963, became a song of celebration and nostalgia for generations of Philadelphia-area Jersey Shore goers. Mr. Rydell, whose face adorns murals in South Philadelphia and Wildwood, kept performing, mostly with Forte and Avalon. With the Golden Boys and as a solo performer, Mr. Rydell averaged about three dozen shows a year leading up to the start of the pandemic. The trio made their return to the stage in Lancaster in August, but Mr. Rydell was unable to perform a show in Florida in January. The singer Luke Christie filled in for him. At 74 years old, I don't think I'm a teen idol anymore. I mean, the fans are still there, God bless them. I mean, they come out, and I guess they remember back in the 50s how great everything was. It was really like the TV show Happy Days. And I think all of the fans that are still coming out to the performances, they remember that, and they want to reflect back to those specific years where, yeah, Bobby Rydell was a teenage idol. And that's a nice thing to have after so many, many years. Thank you for watching, friends.